The following is a Hoop Bowl presentation. Hello and welcome to the Box Score Breakdown for March 7th, 2019. Adrian and I recorded a show earlier, but uh, a lot of static, a lot of static on the line. So I had to, uh, oh, I have to do this again. Anyway, um, he's got more important things to do right now, so he cannot join. For the second recording, it is um, just me going solo tonight on the two games. Before getting to the game, some news to talk about. LeBron James, the biggest story here, coming out of Los Angeles, will not um, play back-to-backs and... I guess even more importantly, face a minute restriction. It's looking at 28 to 32 minutes, which is about an eight-minute decrease. Uh, I guess anywhere from um, uh, six to eight minutes down from what he was averaging this season. Let's um, take a look at his numbers really quickly on the season so far. He has been obviously um, carrying this team when they do win. Um when he's out there playing well, more beginning of the season, he is averaging 35 minutes a night. So uh, he could only dip down to 32, which two minutes, which would not be a great drop, but um, probably more like five or six minutes I would count on, which is um, going to take down, I think, just across the board. Uh, I think the 27 points might come down. Handful of points, rebounds, maybe a rebound or two, an assist or two. Uh, defensively, I don't know if this means he'll play harder on defense since he's going to play fewer minutes or if this means he's going to take more plays off since they don't need to try to win um, or not trying to win anymore. So that's a tough one. Uh, the point six blocks, 1.4 steals, I, I just would say it's a wash. I think it's going to be the same and not um, overthink it on those two categories. But I think the, the counting stats, points, rebounds, assists uh, will come down about 10% each, maybe 15%. And then the field goal percentage remain the same. Free throw percentage remain the same. Three-pointers come down about that same amount. So uh, not much you can do if you own them. I don't think they have a lot of back-to-backs here. They play Friday, March 15th, um, and then Wednesday, March 27th. Um, are there? And then if you, or you, if you do go into April, April 5th, if your league goes that far, uh, he will have three back-to-back games here, potentially to uh, throw a wrench into your fantasy team. But um, I guess it could be worse. It could be shut down completely. So um, make a note of that and try to plan around that accordingly. Other news, um, Drew Holiday out 7 to 10 days. Um, Adrian and I, on our first recording take, um, talked about how this might um, – be just sort of a slow way to shut him down for the year. Hopefully that's not the case, but I will be surprised if he plays a lot more this season. They've got, I believe, 15 games left. I think they're ahead of most teams, and they already played 67. So he is projected to be out um, at least a week. And looking at their schedule, um, that's about four games. So then they'll be... Take us to the end, or the middle of the month, um, and then I would not be supl- surprised if he sits a lot of the remaining games. Um, I'm worried this might be the beginning of a shutdown. Maybe not. Maybe he comes back and plays some games. I don't see any back to backs here after um, a week off. I don't see any back to backs actually, for that matter. So he could be he could uh, play in a few games. Down the stretch, um, I think if you have them on your team, uh, don't panic just yet. Let's see what happens, especially if you start the playoffs next week. That's where it becomes very dicey. Uh, I would not make a move in the first week um, unless you're, no, you can't win with him on your bench um, and you can find someone serviceable. I mean, if you're in a shallow league. You could probably do it. But if you're in like a 12 or or a deeper, it's going to be really hard to find a replacement that's worthy with his potential of the second week coming back for the playoffs and then hopefully playing. Um, they've got a, they've got only got a three-game three week, so maybe he gets to play all of those or at least two of them, which wouldn't be bad. 
and then of course the final week. So if that's your if that's your playoff schedule, uh, which two of mine happen to be that way, so I kind of go on that assumption. Anyway, uh, hold tight. Hopefully this is I'm panicking more than I need to, and it is just a, a week. Um, but I guess there's potential there as they don't have incentive to win. Uh, Jackson, uh, backup point guard, I think is worth a pickup. At least I wouldn't say worth a pickup, worth a flyer. Um, he has not really been that great this year, even in Drew's absence. So don't expect much, but um, worth a shot. Um, as there isn't a lot on the way for wire this time of year. So should get enough minutes. Let's just see if it translates to um, a fair amount of value. Um, Randall's also not bad at handling the ball. So maybe Randall just starts to do everything for this team. Um, his value should get a boost. Um, other news, MB continues to be held out tomorrow. Um, he's been ruled out. He was hoping to get back this game. Uh, left knee soreness, eighth game out. Obviously, they are not tanking uh, any longer. They are trying to make a playoff push. They're trying to make a playoff run, I should say, this year. So maybe they're arresting him um, for that. Um, unfortunately, I could see him missing some games down the stretch for rest, um, especially if their seeding starts to take form. But there is some competition there with uh, Philly. I mean, excuse me, with Indiana and, and Boston right around them. So hopefully once he comes back, he's back. But uh, knees, they want him for the playoffs. So they could be very cautious with him. So I'm nervous about him. Unfortunately, neither one of their backups has really delivered anything substantial uh, or serviceable, at least to be owned. So um, nothing to pick up there. Oh, gosh, just kind of pressing news all around. Um, that is really it as far as big news. Um, for the first game tonight, it was Milwaukee in a runaway here, 117.98. Pacers had a great game out of Miles Turner. He kind of headlined uh, this side here, 22 points, 17 rebounds, three assists, three blocks, one steal, four three-pointers. Um, Thaddeus Young has been decent, but tonight was pretty quiet. Aside from, uh, actually, I take that back. He had a couple nice defensive stats, two steals and two blocks with his 10 points, two rebounds, four assists, two three-pointers. Bojan Bogdanovic, 17 points, five rebounds, one assist, three three-pointers, two steals. Wesley Matthews in 34 minutes is really not doing enough to be owned. Collison struggled tonight, uh, played 26 minutes. McDermott got out there for 15. Um, it's always a sign the team is not doing well, unfortunately. Uh, Corey Joseph, 24 minutes. Um, not much value. Kyle O'Quinn. I thought he might be worth a, um, a look with the absence of bonus, but he's just he's only playing decent minutes when um, it's a non-competitive game. Um, and we don't know how often that's going to be, so can't avoid him. Uh, tonight, not much to take away on the Indiana side. Milwaukee, Giannis continues to dominate the world here. Uh, 29 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists, 10 of 17 shooting. Great to see his free throw line of 8 for 8. Three-pointer and a block. Chris Middleton, nice bounce back game for him. 8 of 15 from the field, 27 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists, 7 of 9 from the free throw line, 4 three-pointers, 3 steals. This is why... I drafted him in one league, and it's nice to see him producing. Lopez, likewise, um, having a great season reality-wise. Fantasy, it's good enough. 13 points, 6 rebounds. The key here is the 3 and D stats. 3 three-pointers, 4 blocks. So that makes him um, a pretty solid fantasy asset. Uh, a steal to go along with that. Brogdon, quiet game in 29 minutes. Bledsoe. Um, also not not that uh, great of a fantasy night. Only saw 26 minutes. Miritich as well in a blowout. Only plays 19 minutes. Just makes one field goal attempt. Um, 
Paul Pal Gasol um, played 11 minutes. Curious to see what his role is going to be going forward with this team. I don't think it'll be fantasy relevant, but uh, reality, it may have a bit of an impact. So not too much to take away tonight from the Bucks either. Um, it's a problem when you're in the last month of the season and teams are staying with the rotations, no changes, and their players are pretty much locked into where they have been for the season, except for Miritich, of course, who has come over now and has taken a big um, uh, down great in his value um that is going to uh do it for the first game um second game tonight was okc against portland uh big uh big win here for the thunder on the road 129 121 very entertaining game if you happen to catch it uh let's start with russell Westbrook, 37 points, seven rebounds, three assists, 14 to 28. He took 28 shots, um, five three-pointers, no defensive stats tonight. Paul George took 23 shots, struggled a bit, seven of seven from the field, seven, 20, 20 from, 17 to 20 from the free throw line, one three-pointer, three steals, 32 points overall, 14 rebounds, and six assists. Jeremy Grant, 14.6 rebounds, um, had a steal block and a three-pointer, shot six of nine from the field. So all around a pretty solid game from him. Steven Adams, uh, 12.7 rebounds, did get two steals and two blocks. Schroeder did okay off the bench, 14-4-4. Four four. Um, no threes, no defensive stats. Markeith Morris, unfortunately, has not carved up much of a role here. In OKC, 23 minutes tonight, um, and not much fantasy relevancy. Noel has dropped off um, any sort of potential one thought he might have. Um, and um, let's see. That's really going to be it for uh, OKC. Um, Ferguson really just out there to... Uh, play a very small role fantasy wise and um, has not had any, I don't think he's had any extra role solid games. Usually a guy like that will have like one or two games every couple of weeks. And it's just I've never seen actually a really good stat line from him all season um, since he's been in the starting lineup. Uh, anyway, Portland uh, Lillard had a huge night, a fortunate loss, 51 points, five rebounds, nine assists, 15 to 28 from the field, 18 of 20, from the free throw line, three three-pointers, one steal, and two blocks. McCollum uh, puts up a lot of points, unfortunately not very efficiently. 25 points on 9 of 24 shooting. Did go 4-4 four, four from the line, five rebounds, no assists. Three three-pointers, a steal, a block. Nurkic uh, gets uh, ejected here late uh, after playing 34 minutes, 13 points, 17 rebounds. Three assists, um, two steals, and a block. Four of eight from the field, five of eight from the line. Aminu, someone who I thought might be uh, worth streaming here. It's uh, barely worth it in the 14 team leagues. Um, 37 minutes, nine points, nine rebounds, um, a single block. Harkless, not much in 21 minutes. Um, my watching of Harkless has ended. And. Um, Rodney Hood, 32 minutes off the bench. I thought he would uh, be able to do a little bit more against uh, this OKC team. Did not work. Just 10 points and then really no other stats to speak of. Cantor, someone who I thought was a must-add when he was when he came over here to OKC. Thought he would get uh, New York-like numbers off the bench. Just He started off kind of like that, but the last five or six games have been very anemic offensively only has broken double digits once it's only um has not double digit no double digit rebounds the high water mark is eight rebounds low water mark is six and he's averaging somewhere between those two um maybe around six six and a half so not even great in rebounds um or field goal percentage hasn't been anything spectacular um three total blocks in those last five or six games two i mean two blocks three steals so Worth a drop at this point. Um, it doesn't seem to be working out. Nurkic is holding his own when he's out there and um, 
you know, if Nurkic gets in foul trouble, then I think you can see some canter run. But other than that, uh, they're just not um, – he's just not getting it done. And uh, Portland, as he was in New York. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, thanks again for listening. Uh, we will be back on Sunday night. Um, playoffs for me start then. So if that's the case for you, good luck in getting your team together for next week. Um, again, we are sponsored by Hawaiian Isles Kona Coffee. You can find their products at their website, hawaiianisles.com or on amazon.com. And we will talk to you on Sunday night. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation.